Okay, multiple offers. So your home is receiving multiple offers. Yes. I'll pause a moment for you to do a happy dance. Okay, now back to business. So just because your house receives an offer that is 20% above asking price doesn't mean it's necessarily the best offer. And let me explain to you why. Hi, my name is Karima Robinson. I'm with Homes by Karima and EXP Realty. And this is multiple offer stage. This is game changing. So with multiple offers, you want to look at each offer individually and very critically. So do the offers is what type of financing do they have? Number one. So number one, you want to look at finance. Do they have an all cash offer that they're presenting? Are they looking for financing? How much financing are they looking for? Are they looking for hundred percent financing where they don't have very many, very much money, or is it a situation where they're going to put down 10, 20 or 50%. These are all very different offers. Even if one has a higher asking price than the others. So the next thing that you want to look at is what type of contingencies or safety valves do they have? So do they have, if they have a loan, they're going to have a loan contingency. So if the bank's not going to loan the money and they can't buy your home, but do they have like an appraisal contingency where they're offering you $100,000 more for your home? They don't have $100,000. They're expecting it from the bank, but the appraiser comes lower than the price that they're willing to pay. So say they're willing to pay 300 and just to keep it simple and they're only approved for 200,000. Well, if the appraiser only comes at 250, the lender's only going to go to 250. They're not going to go to 300 because the appraiser's already saying it's not worth the 300 that they're willing to pay. So that would allow the buyer out of the contract at that point because they don't have the funds and you have to put your house back on the market. Or it could be a situation where they have inspection contingencies. So they have a certain amount of time to do their inspections, but also with that, it allows them out of the contract or back to the negotiating table if they don't like what they see as far as all the repairs that your home needs. So those are all big things to look at when you compare different offers. Also, you wanna look at the closing date. You know, are they asking for a 30 day escrow? How long is their escrow? Are you selling your current home and trying to buy another home and you need those dates to match up? So, you need to look at that as well, because if you're selling your home and buying another home and the dates don't match up in the middle, you could be homeless. So you wanna make sure that that gap is filled in and you are taken care of as well. Or is it a situation where you're selling your current home and you're still looking for your next home and you need more time to do that? So those are all things to look at when they present what their potential closing date could be. Uh, the next thing that you want to look at is after you review all of those things, it's when you can look at the offers and compare them more critically. I hope that this information helped you. There's a lot that goes into the multiple offer stage. It's a great time to have an experienced realtor that can guide you through this process and help you feel empowered and not so overwhelmed. Again, my name is Karima Robinson with Homes by Karima and EXP Realty, generously serving you one home or investment property at a time. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.